today, the word of God calls us to reflect on hospitality and generosity. And it gives an example in the first reading of this woman. She was not only a woman, but she was a woman of rank who received prophet Elisha in her house. She was so generous to the prophet. She gave him a place to sleep, to spend the night every time he is on his way. The prophet did not exploit this kindness and generosity, but rather he prayed and blessed this couple. And the gospel says very well that if you do good to a prophet, then you receive a prophet's reward. If you do good to an upright man, you receive an upright man's reward. What does this mean? It says that good is paid with good. With the same measure that you have given it, that the same measure you receive the goodness from the Lord. But still this will not keep me away from asking this question. Why are we generous and hospitable to people? Do we choose the people we should be generous to? The gospel says, we do all this for Christ's sake. We are not generous just like pagans. We are not generous like the way a man who doesn't believe in the Lord is. Our generosity is different. It's pegged on Christ. Because we are followers of Christ. Following Christ is not about the preferences. It is about total dedication with a lot of sacrifices. This is why we are different. And Christ says very strongly today that if you prefer your family to me, then you are not worthy of me. You are not worthy of following me. This doesn't mean that children should not obey their parents. No. This doesn't mean that spouses should not help each other. No. It calls for self-giving. Giving your all self without preservation. The resolve to follow Christ should be unconditional. No one should pull us back. Even the people we love most, they should not come between us and Christ. St. Paul assures that Christ offered himself. He gave a very good example to us to follow in our generosity, in our hospitality. Christ gave his life. For us, maybe we are giving material things. We are offering somebody somewhere to spend a night. Christ was so generous to us for our salvation that he gave his life. By accepting Christ in our baptism, we became one with him. We assumed a new life. And this new life should be renewed every day of our lives. Every morning you wake up, you renew this life in Christ. It's not an easy life. Let's pray today that Christ, whom we follow, who is bringing us here every Sunday, every day, that he may continue strengthening our resolutions to follow him without failing.